the Minister of Foreign Affairs did something unbelievable on the floor of the House of Commons. I read the genocidal comments that had been made by these radical uh, mobs, and I said, would you just condemn it? From, uh, uh, from the river to the sea, she wouldn't condemn that. Israel will soon be gone. She wouldn't condemn that. There's only one solution, intifada, revolution. She wouldn't condemn that. She wouldn't even affirm Israel's right to retaliate against other countries attacking it. Today, we see that on our streets, the organization Samadun, which is a front for the uh, PFLP, has been fomenting these violent and horrific protests and mob actions. Uh, this organization is a front for an already banned terrorist group. And it is an offense under 80, Section 83.5 of the Criminal Code, as enacted by the Anti-Terrorism Act, to knowingly act on behalf of, at the direction of, or in association with a terrorist ALP. entity. Germany Specific. banned the Samadun, saying that it served as an international network which disseminates anti-Israel and anti-Jewish propaganda and su supported and glorified various foreign terrorist organizations, including Hamas. Samadun's leadership was deported from Germany, refused entry into the EU in 2022, and both times they were returned and, of course, welcomed to Canada. And finally, yesterday, the organization chanted, in our streets, in Canadian streets, death to Canada, death to the United States, and death to Israel. So this is a terrorist organization. Common sense conservatives are calling for the government under Section 83.03 .03 of the Criminal Code to ban Samadun now. Yesterday, on October 7th, <coughs> while burning the maple leaf, Samadun terrorist sympathizers openly called for death to Canada, death to the United States, and death to Israel. After nine years of this Prime Minister, sadly calls for death to Canada and our allies have now been normalized. Sami Doon operates as an arm of a listed terrorist organization in Canada. Will the Prime Minister protect Jewish Canadians from homegrown extremism and list Sami Doon as a terrorist organization? The Honourable Minister for Foreign Affairs. If there's one thing today we will be able to agree is that we both condemn what happened yesterday on the streets of Vancouver talking about. And that's why we will always condemn any form of anti-Semitism. And I'm convinced that everybody in this House will condemn any form of anti-Semitism. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The Honourable Member from Toronto, St. Paul's. Mr. Speaker, in March of this year, Sammy Doon paraded through my riding to intimidate our Jewish community. Now we see videos of Sammy Doon members in our streets calling for the death of Canada, long live October 7th, and calling the Hamas terrorists their heroes while they burn the Canadian flag. This government has done nothing to put a stop to these pro-genocide, anti-Semitic, anti-Canadian mobs who, who, who threaten our Jewish communities nationwide. Will the Prime Minister commit to protecting our Jewish communities and label Sammy Doon a terrorist organization? Michael. The Honourable Parliamentary Secretary to the Minister of Public Safety. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Those actions that have been taking place in our streets are wrong. We condemn them full stop. Any form of anti-Semitism is wrong. This is precisely why, Mr. Speaker, the Minister of Public Safety had already referred the listing of Sammy Doon to our National Security Advisors and asked for a, an emergency and urgent review. Mr. Speaker, we've already taken action, but we know this issue isn't political. And it's a shame that Conservatives only stand up when they think it suits their political advantage. Colleagues, 
These are very important questions and very important answers. I will ask the honourable member from St. Albert, Edmonton, to please not take a, his, speak out of turn and allow the questions and answers to occur uninterrupted. The honourable member from Thornhill. If they, would have, if they took action, they would have listed them already. So if burning a Canadian flag, if calling for the death of Canadians, if, if fomenting hate in this country and most of all being a front for an already listed terrorist organization is not enough to put them on the list, then what the hell is it going to take for them to ban them? Yeah. Very quickly, before we go to the answer, I'm just going to ask the honourable member to withdraw the unparliamentary language. The honourable member. The honourable parliamentary secretary to the Minister of Public Safety. Mr. Speaker, when it comes to an issue as serious as this, we are not going to play politics with Canadian safety. But when it comes to listing of terrorist entities, the members opposite know full well it is not a political decision. It is based on the national security services of this country, but it's precisely why the minister had already sent it for an urgent review, understanding that this hate is unacceptable in Canada.